unsupported extensions disabled. Adobe Acrobat, McAfee, Web Advisor applications launcher for Drive by Google. That's crazy. What the heck is going on? Welcome to this video about this strange message. So I'm trying to figure out what happened. Here we are on the Brave browser. Brave browser usually is a new browser supposed to be really safe and good and reliable and when they say unsupported extensions disabled to make brave safer we disabled some extensions that aren't listed in the web store and may have been added without your knowledge adobe acrobat mcafee and the drive launcher so what's going on the thing is i tried to investigate into that and i haven't found anything about that the strange thing is they say web store as far as i know there is no web store on the brave itself because brave is actually like a clone of the chrome uh like yeah google chrome and that's that that's really strange i don't i have never seen a web store for brave i have been googling that and i mean everything what i've been installing i have been installing from the google chrome i mean from the yeah chrome website web store and i'm pretty sure there is no web store for brave so I mean, there have always been some leaks in Adobe Acrobat, but I mean, really disabling that, I mean, that would limit the browser cap capabilities a lot. And also McAfee Web Advisor, I mean, Web McAfee Web Advisor was always supposed to help people and to protect and make it safer. Now they say uh, they have prevented or they have disabled that to make it safer and that's something to make it safer so this is really strange so i've been googling a little bit here there was a similar question on Anantech. is mcafee web advisor safe does mcafee gather your personal downloads it scans yeah i think there have been there are some strange statements but the most important thing is here he says that uh, McAfee Web Advisor cannot guarantee any page, any safety of any page because most of the problems these days are coming from ads. And if they scan a website and they determine it to be safe, like next user is going to the same exact page and when they uh when they uh, put a new ad from another company i mean when you when you rent out space for like google ads or other ads you never know who will populate that with what and, and and you you don't know what it will be populated and sometimes there can be harmful stuff and even when it's actually a safe website when you rent when they rent out space for ads it can be harmful stuff i've seen that a lot so of course but it doesn't say that mcafee web advisor is actually harmful when we go to the chrome web store itself i mean we can see some reviews the reviews are not really good 3.2 out of 5 that's pretty low but more than 10 million users are using that and i have been looking for the most recent reviews and they are really not good most of them two two stars and three stars and most of the complaints here when you read through the whole thing i mean also a lot of one stars and the most complaint we see is that they complain that it reinstalls itself even when you try to delete it uninstall from the chrome it still comes back i haven't seen that really i mean it can be stubborn but i didn't have huge problem once i've been trying it but it's long time ago i haven't done this uh, in the last time i have always been i mean it it looked like it was always a good experience for me 
I when I was googling for a couple of things new things and then yeah you google for that and you click on the links and you don't know where you or had it I mean where you are going to you don't know the website and I had this many times that the McAfee web advisor was warning me and telling oh okay are you sure you want to go to this website it can be harmful we have detected uh, doubtful things and so on as you can see here so you see the pictures here a little bit small but I hope you still can see that and that's usually what McAfee web advisor brings up uh, they say uh, when they detect something that you want to go to a website which they found is risky they say wow are you sure you want to go there uh, confirm or go back and usually I went back and I fe felt pretty safe and I really had the feeling that they were helping me and not uh, just spreading bad things but there are a lot of people here in these reviews especially when you go to the reason you have to be careful most of the stores start with the best reviews same thing here on chrome you don't have uh, don't go to the most helpful reviews go to the recent reviews same thing as on amazon and so on so and then you find the more critical reviews and some people are really saying yeah it keeps reinstalling itself on my pc and this is almost 90 percent of the complaints but also some people say they have experienced some at least adware not malware installing but at least adware installing uh, it looks like at least in some cases there have been adware installing in the same time maybe it comes with the installer of uh, the McAfee web advisor or sometimes it happened but it looks like I mean when you see so many complaints that it is really a problem that it's almost impossible to get rid of that and so probably uh, Brave has decided to disable that maybe for that reason and also maybe some people were complaining about adware so it is a little bit a sad thing because I've really always been relying on that and now we have to find a new solution. I don't know if Brave is really protecting you in the same way like when you want to go to a website which is not safe if they will warn you. I don't think that will happen. So what can we do? That's a thing which I have always been uh, recommending a solution which is even more safe than McAfee web advisor and that's the sandboxy it's a sandbox system and you can use it also for web browsing so whenever you are googling for something you don't know I mean when you google for an IBM site I mean yeah okay it doesn't make sense but maybe if you are googling for a real uh, like a, a main brand website which you really can't find maybe I mean it's it's not needed but usually if you are googling for tech or googling for health like health issues and Google for yeah a lot of other things I can really highly recommend to use the sandbox browser instead of your normal browser it's ex ex almost exactly same thing apart from that you cannot download things I mean you you, you can down, download stuff and it will go on your hard disk but it's not accessible by any other things it can't do any harm you will be asked usually if you want to make it accessible from other programs and then you can say yes or no but usually it doesn't do anything and especially as long as you stay within the safe browser here and the sandboxy you are 100 percent safe because it's an isolated system nothing uh, like no program from the browser can access your pc and can do any harm so i can highly recommend to go on download and download the latest edition i have to even look up for the right 
uh, version here we can see we have a 32 bits version for the old PCs like Windows 7 or so and then usually 64 bits for new uh, new systems I mean 64 bits Windows installations of course and I've been using that for a long long time never had any problems usually when you don't use the paid I mean they, they always ask for payment but it's usually when you start this thing it keeps telling you for five seconds please activate it make a pay uh, yeah buy a paid version but it's no problem it will be like this for years and you can just wait for five seconds and then continue and use all the features which they provide and it's a good thing i mean i haven't found anything comparable to this and i can highly recommend so whenever you google for something and you don't know where you will end use something like that and yeah then um, i mean as long especially as long as we can't use the web advice uh, the mcafee web advisor i mean as long as you are using google chrome uh, I mean, you can still use McAfee web, web, ad, web Advisor. I don't know how long it will remain in the Google Store because so many people are complaining and a lot of people say even they have reported that and it could be that also Google will eject it from their store. So it's always good to have an alternate solution and the sandboxy is really a good solution which I can highly recommend. It doesn't come with any kind of adware, bloatware uh, what whatsoever and it's a good thing so yeah that's it for now unfortunately i don't really have a 100 percent uh information on what's going on what caused this issue but at least i hope i was able to help you and give you some alternate solution if you are in the same situation so you don't have this extra protection from McAfee. So um, yeah, if you have any questions or comments or better solutions, your own experience, or if you if you have more information about that, would be really interesting, and it would be really nice if you could leave a comment in the feedback area down below. And if you like the video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.